All right, you guys, Forgo Fun Bros back again. I know I might look a little stupid standing here like a reporter <laughs> with this little mini mic trying to record it background with my car. But anyways, this video is long overdue. Just get it over with real quick. Um, as you guys could tell already by the title, it's my worst financial mistake of my life. You gotta agree on that one. So that kind of gives it away already. No, this car does not cost me like 10,000, 5,000 or 15 or 20. It didn't take me like two or three cars to put it into one and have one complete one. I actually bought the car kind of as a mistake. Um, let me just show you the pictures right now and you guys could see how the car was damaged and what I looked at the auction and you guys could see what I looked at. You guys so there you have it you checked out the pictures and what do you say to yourself personally myself i never played a car from los angeles area copart insurance whatever i never played a car from there i told my heart and mind that no do not play a car no matter what car is down there because i heard of a bunch of stories people getting messed up and getting a car with some weird stuff happening mickey mouse who you name it but the thing is my little story before playing this car, the Panamera, I played like a nice Corvette C6, like only 5,000 miles, no damage, lost it by one bid. I played an M3, super low miles, E46, lost it by one bid. I played an S4 from Sacramento, where I'm from. I went and checked it out, super clean, lost it by one bid. I believe there was another car, I can't remember what it was, I lost it by a bid. So as you could tell, I was trying to get something for myself that I would enjoy and like, and then this thing pops out and I'm already kind of at that point stage where I'm like, whatever, YOLO, Los Angeles YOLO, and let me just play it. So I didn't even talk to my pops. I usually talk to my pops, let him know, hey, check this car out, check the pictures out with me. He's even more, you know, pays attention to detail than I do. So we look at him together, but this time I decided I'm gonna just do it on myself. And what happened was, it's not like the car was Mickey Mouse, but as soon as it came and I got it shipped, like my first impression of it was like oh snap so didn't expect the car to be damaged more so it wasn't like crazy frame date frame frame damage but there was more damage than expected so at that point i found out that the car outside pieces they're like aluminum or something like that or magnesium they're not just straight metal where it's easy to fix body parts and like pull things out so it was a lot harder so there's only a couple specialists here in this area that i could work with and that I know I have a good reputation. So pretty much the main price and where all my chunk of money went into was getting the car fixed. The parts itself, there was, yeah, a little more than I expected, but it took me about 6,000 bucks just to get it painted and fixed. And then on top of all the parts that I had to replace, so let's just say, I'm not gonna go into detail, but I had to get the front headlights replaced, front bumper, you know, I didn't expect the radiator and the condenser to be damaged, but they're actually damaged quite well. They're holding their pressures and stuff, but I had to replace them. So, and all the little bits and pieces of a front end, high end vehicle or whatever, you know, a Panamera German car. There's a lot of little details you gotta put together and it all costs money. So, dun, da, da, dun. What are the numbers? I know you guys wanna know. Again, I'm not gonna tell you like, oh, this piece cost me 20 bucks. This piece cost me one, 200 bucks, whatever. This car cost me, here's the thumbnail for the video, I guess. SMH, SMH, it cost me $34,000. All fixed, as you see it right there, $34,000. So yeah, I fixed this car about a year ago or so. I mean, the price value was a lot higher, but now if you look it up yourself, a clean title, you know, Panamera is gonna cost pretty much $34,000 you could find a nice Panamera like mine but mine is salvaged and I had to go through the whole hassle so would you do it would I do it of course not so it is what it is beginning when I first seen the car before I started even fixing the car I had an option I could have throw it back on Copart and just sell it take my loss 
because I paid about $21,000 with all the fees, Copart fees, for this car before starting the repair. So say I threw it back on Copart, maybe got 14, 15,000 bucks back, you know, 16, I don't know. Or in my case, I decided to go ahead, not take that loss right away, fix it, drive it a little, have fun. And that's what I did. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's my world's financial mistake for sure. I had another little mistake, but this one maybe triples it. <laughs> so I guess we could just go out and I'll just show you how it looks. Pretty much as you've seen in the picture, the car was damaged to the front end. And if you want, you could come kind of record a little bit. So I had to get the LED lights. I had to get the little grills. Had to get that from the dealer, the grill. Found a bumper used, you know, headlights. I had a problem with the module. You guys seen in my videos. So, I mean, right now all the gaps, all the doors, everything lines up, everything is perfect. So, looking like those sales people <laughs> trying to sell my car, but I'm just trying to show you guys how it looks. Let's do go a little quicker because it's whatever. I mean, if you want to record this part right here. So when it got damaged, this fender got pushed in a little bit. So there was damage on the doors right here. So everything got fixed up and it looks nice right now. I got the car detailed. It's all clean as you can see. Wash it like, or drive it pretty much like once a week, maybe twice a week. In the back, again, it's not like a janky job. Pretty much all the cars I had from starting off with like Civics and old Maximas to a Miata, you know, I fixed them nicely. Just try to take care of my stuff. As you guys also seen, I had to get TPMS sensors across because they were missing for some reason. Had to replace the tires, got Michelin's on them. So there you have it, you guys. Do not make the mistake I made. It's a bad mistake. You lose a lot of money, even though I didn't take the loss yet, but I have a feeling already, it's obvious. You probably take a nice loss. My worst financial mistake again. Not gonna be a clickbait title because it's true. So don't make the mistake I made. If you're having, you know, problems with Copar or whatever, you're in the market on Copar looking for cars, trying to get something for yourself. You don't win one, two, three, whatever cars. And then the last car you may play, you'll go all out. Don't really look at it and then end up with something with maybe too much damage or even worse where there's crazier situations where the car comes in and it's really been worse. You know, there's hidden things that you've never seen in pictures. So in my case, that did not happen and hopefully it doesn't happen to you. But just be smart, take your time, be patient. That's all I gotta say. I'll be selling this car whenever I sell it. I'm not gonna be done yet. I still wanna maybe get another nice car if it happens, but that's again, time will tell when that will happen because I got other plans in my mind. You know, gotta get married, gotta, you know, settle in a little. So we'll see how that works out. So got this little YouTube channel going. You guys stay in touch. Building that 240SX, I only got like 60 views per video. If you guys wanna check it out, that's pretty much what I'll probably be working on next and not really doing salvages anymore. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. For Fun Bros, we out.